Well, hello there, Chicago Bears fans. It is your lovely host here. It is Ry Ry. So, I'm going to discuss the second preseason matchup between the Chicago Bears versus the Buffalo Bills. But first, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe you want to check it on, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and this matchup between the Bears and the Buffalo Bills the second preseason game. Now, if you want to follow me on my social media accounts, I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, my own Facebook page. The link will take you there if you want to discuss about random stuff. The Bears football, sorry, the Bears movies, politics, anything that's on your mind. If you just want to come on board to make fun of me, the way I look, the way I dress, the way I, all that stuff, the way I talk, don't come on board. I want people to actually to discuss about football, anything that's on your mind. Feel free, DM me, then you and I can make arrangements of a future episode of the Raw Rash Show. That'd be delightful. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, grab some drink. And if you don't like that, maybe you want to talk to on and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. Okay? Here goes nothing. Okay, now, Bears got to bucket against the Buffalo Bills 41-15. Am I panicking? No. Does this game mean anything? No. It doesn't. But, one highlight that kind of scared me, the rookie quarterback Justin Fields got nailed. Why did not, sorry, why the Chicago Bears did not really protect Justin Fields? Yes, I know it's not the starter, but still. Does this mean it's going to be a long, long season? They did a scene with Jay Cutler. Remember that? He had, he had a great arm, great receivers. But the office line was very, very, not very well. Not very good. And he was on his butt more than throwing a flipping ball. And eventually, he had to retire. He, we did not, we never had a great line. Never. You know, not since I was growing up, maybe back in the 80s, because they won a Super Bowl. And every time, I'm just getting off subject here, every time Jay Culler wanted to throw it, the guys would go after him, so he just throw the ball to the running back, Matt Forte, and he did his part. So, and that was a great, if we had a great line, I guaranteed, Jay Cutler had more chances to throw it more deep. I mean, sometimes he does have chances, and other times he does not. He, sometimes you get picked off, pick six, sacked a dozen times. I think his first year, he got sacked a lot when Bears traded him. Okay, I will discuss this matchup. I know you guys don't give a crap. It's, it'll mean nothing. Mitchell, the former Bears QB, torched the Bears. Torched them. Why even did that? For the Bears. Is it because Nagy was the helm? Maybe because Nagy was the whole problem the whole time. Maybe it was not Mitchell's fault. You know? Bears are so stupid. I love the Bears, but... Makes me mad. Makes me flipping mad. Jesus Christ. I love the Bears. Okay, let me see about... Mitchell, look at... 20, uh, 28, 71.4, 221 yards, one TD. He he looked like he was very he's very comfortable. Why can't they have these numbers in Chicago? Why? I don't understand. It's Nagy's fault. He's the one who should got fired, not Mitchell. You know. Sorry. Oh God. Makes me mad. Our defense looks like crap. Everything looks like crap. But once again, it's preseason. So none of these preseasons for NFL don't mean nothing. You could be 1-3. You could be 3-0. And you could still miss the playoffs or make the flipping playoffs. I'm so glad that we only got three preseason games. We don't need four. Maybe one day we only have two preseason games. Or just one. You never know. It's all about the money. Okay? Now... Does this mean the Buffalo Bills are going to have a great season? No. Does that mean the Bears are going to have a crappy season? No. The second preseason game, does not that mean crap? You guys should know that. 
Now for the break of the season, if this is week two, now I'm gonna say when it, when it, when this when the season kicks off, when it's week two, I'm gonna say it's too flippin' early to judge the Bears or any of these NFL teams. Wait, wait to wait week four, week five, then you gotta judge. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit the pattern button. Preseason is preseason. Another thing you heard, I don't know if you heard that Las Vegas Knights, that's I'm sorry, that's hockey team. Las Vegas Raiders are trying to trade for Cleo Mack back in March. And guess what? The Bears says no. Well, the Las Vegas Knights, darn it, that's, I did it again. Las Vegas Raiders screwed up. They should never trade Cleo Mack to the Bears. That was so stupid of their part. I mean, that was good for us, but for them, bad. Have they made a playoff since? No. For us, I think we made a couple of playoff appearances. I think just once or twice. Whatever. But if the Bears decided to trade them back to Las Vegas, that'd be a huge blow in our defense. You know, he's 30 years old now. I don't know if he's going to retire as a Bear or eventually go back to the Las Vegas Raiders. Who knows? But who do you think won that trade? The Bears? Or the Raiders. You could give me your opinion. I think it has been three years already. You know, he's... Hopefully, he go back to the original. Cleo Mack kicked some butt sacks. A couple of interceptions. So, I'm so glad the Bears deny that trade. Because if they accept that trade, who are the Bears going to give up this time around? A couple of future round draft picks? So, um... I don't know. That this is that was so stupid. I heard. Hopefully, that's not a true statement. But anyway, back was this. I did not watch it because I hate the preseason. Now people gonna say Mitchell beat the crap out of theirs. It's preseason, people. M Mitchell is not gonna get a start in Buffalo. The only reason he got a start in this game because the sore and quarterback don't want to play. So I don't know if he's gonna play the third game of the preseason. I think they should. I think all the starters, everybody should play the third preseason. If they get hurt, they get hurt. It's all part of the game, okay? Is Mitchell the answer for the Buffalo Bills? Maybe they will use him in a special plays. So let's see what's going to happen. So Jeff Fields, he said last week it, it, it's soft. This week, he got killed. Is he still saying that stuff? So I don't know why he said that kind of stuff dumb so um, i don't give up on his bears i know there's a lot of work to do it's a coaching staff Nagy needs to get fired this year if the bears don't make the playoffs or if they had a very slow start put in justin fields don't wait until like week 16 week 17 then they put him in that'd be dumb if you put him in early if andrew Dalton's struggling switch quarterbacks do it early don't do it after your bye week, that'd be very, very stupid. Bear fans will rip the Bears front office once again on social media. So be careful what you do, Chicago Bears, because if not, the fans will be very upset. I think it will be a full capacity this fall. So I'm looking forward to the Bears. So have a good one, Bears fans. Let me know what you think. I'll give you the link. You guys could ch check out the status. This is very disappointing. Once again, this is just preseason game. So, and the Bears sign some office lines. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he's going to start. So, and then you got a guy from Philadelphia. He needs to stay healthy. That's the problem. I'm surprised the Bears took a chance on him. So, hopefully, the Bears does not bite him in the butt. But get backfired. If this thing is a crappy year, you need to fire the head coach and the GM. If not, then it's very, I'd be very embarrassed to be a Bears fan still. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys next week later. Go Bears.